Question 8, and it says, in this question, I and G are horizontal unit vectors due east and due north, respectively, and position vectors are given relative to the fixed point O. So we've got a particle P moves with constant acceleration. So that's probably telling us that SUVAT is useful. So at time t equals zero, the particle is at the origin is moving with a velocity of two i minus three j. So this is going to be a SUVAT question. So let's get all the information in SUVAT form S U V A T. But we're not going to write i's and j's. What we're going to write is things in column vectors, it makes it much easier. So time t equals naught, the velocity is 2 minus 3, i.e. u is 2 minus 3. At time t equals 2 seconds, p is at the point a with position vector, 7 minus 10. So 7 minus 10, and we know that t equals 2 when that happens. And it's acceleration that we need to find, so velocities are relevant to this. So I know we need to find acceleration because the question asks to show that the magnitude of the acceleration is 2.5 metres per second squared. So we need to take the SUVAT equation that links S, U, A and T. Well, that's S equals U, T plus a half A, T squared. So 7 minus 10 equals U, T. So 2 minus 3, lots of 2 plus a half a, which is a vector, times 2 squared, which is a scalar. So 7 minus 10 equals, and 2 minus 3 times the scalar, 2, makes it 4 minus 6, plus a half of 2 squared, which is 2a. Now rearranging that, take 4 minus 6 from this, so 7 take 4 is 3, and minus 10 minus minus 6 is minus 4, equals 2 lots of the acceleration. Then divide by 2, we get that the acceleration vector is 1.5 minus 2. And it's asked us to show that the magnitude of acceleration is 2.5. So acceleration equals 1.5 minus 2, which implies that the modulus of acceleration its magnitude is the square root of 1.5 squared plus 2 squared let's hopefully see that this gives us 2.5 so root of 1.5 squared plus 2 squared equals 5 over 2 which is 2.5 meters per second squared so the next part it says at the instant when p leaves the point a the acceleration of P changes, so that P now moves with constant acceleration for 8.8. .8. At the instant when P reaches the point B, the direction of motion of P is northeast. Find the time it takes for P to travel from A to B. So let's remind ourselves of some of the information given in the initial question. So there it is there. So the particle P set of time equals zero from the origin, and it was moving with velocity 2 minus 3. At time t equals 2 seconds, p was at the point a, and its position was 7 minus 10. So remind ourselves, we want to find when the direction is northeast. So first of all, it helps to have an equation of motion for the position of the particle. So we're going to use s equals ut plus a half a t squared to find the displacement of the particle after it hits a. But at A, it starts at the point 7 minus 10 there. So when it's at A, it's at the uh, position 7 minus 10. So we're going to reset our stopwatch from this point. So our displacement is 7 minus 10 plus any extra displacement after it hits A. Now we know the acceleration after it hits A. We're given that. So we can write an even better equation now. So S equals... 7 minus 10 plus ut plus a half and instead of a we'll write the actual acceleration which is 4 8.8 .8. 4 8.8 .8 t squared so the only thing now that we don't know is u the initial velocity at a well actually we can easily work that out because u is the velocity at a 
So if we use this information here, so the particle initially doing a different SUVAT, again for the motion between the origin and A, S, U, V, A, T. So we know that it hits A when the time was 2, it's told us that there. We know the acceleration, we worked out the acceleration vector here as part of the previous part. So the acceleration was 1.5 minus 2. So 1.5 minus 2. The final velocity, that's what we want to find because the final velocity of this phase was the initial velocity of the second phase when it hits A. And the initial velocity here, we're told, was 2 minus 3. There it is there. Right, so 2 minus 3. So we're ready to find V by just simply using V equals U plus AT. So V equals 2 minus 3 plus 1.5 minus 2 T equals, so 2 plus 1.5 lots of 2 equals 5 minus 3 uh, minus 4 is minus 7. So that's the velocity at A meters per second. So that's velocity at A. So that there corresponds to the U that we don't yet know. Corresponds to that U there. So now we can write an equation of motion. Therefore, S equals the initial position, 7 minus 10, plus UT, so 5 minus 7 T plus a half times the acceleration for 8.8 t squared. So let's simplify that and write it as a single vector. So that's equal to, so that becomes 7 plus 5t, and a half of 4 is 2, so 2t two squared. The bottom becomes minus 10, minus 7t, and a half of 8.8 .8 is 4.4, plus 4.4 t squared. So that's our position vector at any time after the particle hits A. So now it's told us the direction of motion of P is northeast, i.e. that way there, so one along and one up. That means its velocity has I and J components exactly the same, because for every one we go east, we go one north. So it's traveling at velocity that has the same component for I and J. Therefore, if I find velocity here, when I know to find velocity, I differentiate displacement. So ds by dt equals, and let's differentiate that. I get 5 plus 40, and here I get minus 7 plus 8.8 t and that's equal to velocity and if it's northeast then I know this component here is equal to this component here as I said before therefore 5 plus 4 t equals minus 7 plus 8.8 .8 t and solving that's quite simple equation we get 12 equals an 8.8 .8 take away 4 is 4.8 t which means that t equals, so we've got 12 divided by 4.8, which is 2.5 seconds. And that's the answer. So that's how we do those questions. That was quite a tricky one, actually. So if you're unsure about motion in two dimensions like this, have a look at our YouTube channel. I've, uh, I've done a few videos on this, so it's well worth having a look at. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.